Hi there. Uh, my name is TJ with Meticulous Man Services. I'm the Chief Cleaning Officer here. And I want to take a minute to kind of go through with you and show you what to do before you even pick up your rags. Or in our case, we like to call them cloths. So I want to kind of show you one of the things we start out with is we have our caddy here. And this caddy we use to go through and have with us in every room that we do our cleaning. And we put this when we put a bunch of tools and stuff in here for you so that you have everything at your hands aside from what you'll have on your apron. And we'll go over that in another video. But for now, let's go ahead and see how we stock this and what we put in there and what we use it for. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and show you is that we have our toilet brush. Now within this toilet brush, we always keep it in this container and we usually have a pumice stone and a toothbrush for you to use that are only used on the toilets or if they happen to have a bidet or something in there. But that's what, go ahead and put that right there. That's what goes next. Then the next thing we have is we've got some hydrogen peroxide. Now we don't use bleach in our company, so this is a really great alternative for you to use within the mold and mildew that you might find around a tub. So we put that in right there. The next thing we have is our non-acid base cleaner. This is used specifically on and in toilets. So you'll spray that. We'll go ahead and put that right here. The next thing we have is we've got our cleanser, which we use Barkeeper's Friend. This is really great. It's a better alternative than Comet or something like that. But this is what we take on our jobs for any kind of scrubbing we need to do. And that's typically used only on porcelain type stuff. Uh, we sometimes, depending on the surface, we might use it on a steel or metal surface. But we'll go over that more. But this is your powder cleanser that we use. The next thing we carry with us is we have our own trash bags. Go ahead and use those as necessary. Shouldn't need any kind of explanation for a trash bag, hopefully. The next thing we want to make sure we have in our tote is we use, uh, this is our dusting, or sorry, our caddy. This is our dusting spray. Our dusting spray is a mixture of Murphy's oil and water. We use a very diluted solution there that helps out with attracting dust. We'll put that in. The next thing we want to make sure we put in is we've got a cup here. This is great for rinsing off uh, your showers, your tubs, or anything that you might need to have something to rinse off. Within it, we include a couple of tools here. I'm going to show you what those are. So we've got ourselves a toothbrush. This is really great around your faucets and anywhere you can't really get into very well. We have a small putty knife. This is great for scraping up stuff off the floor or off the countertops. Anything that's not super stuck on, that works great on. Then we do sometimes carry in, this is not a regular razor uh, blade. It is a plastic one. That's good for a little harder stuff. Try to make sure we always keep that inside our little cup. The next thing we also do is we have a scrubber. These are really great for your tubs, uh, shower walls, things like that. And we make sure we put that in there. And that goes right there. Then the other thing we want to make sure we have with us is our Swiffer Duster. We have replaceable ones of these that are in your caddy, that will, I'm sorry, your tote that we'll go over in just a little bit. We always make sure we have this and we put it on this side of the caddy here. So always make sure that we have it lined up like this. We always want to make sure that the only things we have near our toilet brush is our toilet cleaner and our peroxide. Everything else goes to that end because we don't want to have our duster on this side and have it become cross-contaminated with our toilet brush because it might fall in there or something or over. Then the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we want to start with our cleaners. This one here is our glass cleaner that we use. We'll have that on this side. And then we have our neutral disinfectant cleaner. This is a green solution neutral disinfectant cleaner that we use for, it's our basically our purpose. We use it uh, everywhere that we don't use our dusting and our toilet cleaner. Then we also have, and we carry with us in a bag, we have a blue non-scratch scotch pad that we use. That's good for your porcelain areas, uh, tubs, uh, countertops. Always got to be careful with that and we'll go over that more in your training as to where to use these and where not to. And we also carry on a magic eraser. And we keep these in a baggie because they get wet and when you put them back in here while you're cleaning, you don't want to get it all over your apron. So we'll put that right here. Then we have our cloths. Now we're going to go and start, let's start with the blue one here. This one is specifically used for glass, and so windows, mirrors, anything of that nature, glass picture frames. We want to make sure we use this blue one. And we'll always put that on the back side of our glass cleaner so that it stays away from everything else. Then we have a green. All your green cloths are used for polishing and dusting, and that's it. And we always want to make sure we put these in a separate bag when we bring them back 
so that they don't get their oils and everything else. So we'll have that. Then we always carry with us, at least in our caddy here, three red cloths. We have one, two, three. We always put three. These red ones are strictly only used on toilets, nothing else. The toilet and around the basin of it, on the floor, that's what we use these for. We never use these on countertops, in showers, or anywhere. Then we have our yellow cloths. Yellow are our all-purpose cloths. We carry six of these with us in our caddy here so that we have enough typically for a couple of rooms. And we go ahead, and those are used on your countertops. They're used for your, uh, your doors, your doorknobs, your light switches, everything else that you want to ever use a red cloth or your duster for. And lastly, we have gloves. We always want to make sure we keep plenty of gloves because uh, gloves will protect your hands from both uh, any bacteria that might be around the home, but also keeps them from getting uh, cracked and dried out. So there you have it. This is what we carry with us in our caddy when we go into a home. Next video, we're going to go ahead and go over our tote and what we include in that one. Thanks again.